The Office of Intramural Training and Education has produced a series of videos designed to help those who want to transition to a career in industry. This program will focus on the opportunities that exist in industry, particularly for scientists. My name is Brad Fackler. I am the Industry Career Advisor here at OITE. Within industry, there are companies of all sizes and shapes. From the mega companies with annual revenues of $10 billion or more and maybe 70,000 employees worldwide, to the very early stage or startup companies that may have no revenues and only one, two, or three employees. I have provided on this grid some example company names that fit into the various sectors of the industry, pharmaceuticals, biotech, device, consumables, and contract organizations, and to provide you with names of companies by the various sizes. Within companies, there are a great number of positions and areas that provide opportunity. Within research and development, there are opportunities in discovery, preclinical, and clinical research. There are opportunities in regulatory affairs and in product development. There are commercial opportunities within the companies. These are in the areas of marketing, of sales, of business development, and of corporate communications. There are areas for scientists that fall between the commercial and the R&D areas, areas such as product support, medical affairs, and regulatory affairs. There are opportunities within the services. These are oftentimes external contractors to the companies in the areas such as recruiting, management consulting, law, and a host of other areas. And also in the area of operations. These are in the areas of manufacturing as well as bio-IT. Drilling down a little further, we see that within R&D, in the discovery research, these are the people that actually discover the technologies that are going on to be produced. The preclinical and clinical research areas provide the testing on these products, first with animals and then in humans. Project management is the management of the entire process that a compound will go through from its discovery till it is on the market and the biopharmaceutical product development, which is creating and formulating the compounds that go through the development process. I've marked the preclinical area here because we can look at that even in greater depth. I've chosen this because many of you here who are in scientific positions transitioning to a position in preclinical research in a company will be doing very similar things to what you're doing today. The roles and responsibilities include characterizing the drug candidates, evaluating and selecting the most promising, and conducting the preclinical studies on that compound. Career tracks include areas of metabolism and pharmacokinetics, toxicology, drug safety and evaluation, pharmacology, translational research and medicine, animal services and welfare, and chemistry, manufacturing, and controls. Within the commercial, we see marketing, which is the strategic area, sales, the more tactical areas, and business development, responsible for in-licensing or out-licensing compounds that may not fit within the portfolio of the company, and corporate communications, providing information on the company, both to the external and internal audiences. The opportunities between R&D and commercial, product support, these are the compound and therapeutic experts within the company, Medical affairs, these are people who have contact with the clinical investigators and provide support for the marketing department. And the regulatory affairs, 
ensuring that the development and the marketing of the compound are in line with federal regulations set by the FDA. Opportunities in operations include manufacturing, bio IT, and quality. These are people responsible to ensure that the quality of the compound and the processes are in line with federal standards. And opportunities in the services. For just about every function within the company, there could be a service provider that provides that service. You can see here agencies, management consulting, healthcare finance, and recruiting. When we look at this through a different lens, looking at each area by degree, we find that the commercial jobs are mainly in the areas of bachelor's degree and master's degrees. The opportunities within those areas between R&D and R&D are mainly at the PhD and MD level with technician positions available for those with a master's degree. The operations, again, are mainly bachelor's, master's positions. And the services, because they go across the board, cover the gamut of degrees. Providing you some examples of what job advertisements would look like, I've provided two here in the research areas. You can see the one that is highlighted with key words a critical factor as you are looking at potential jobs for you, you look at the area of responsibility and the skills and experience they look at and try to make your resume match those skills. Other examples which are positions in development and again Oftentimes, you can go through and try to find the key words that may match your skill set. Now, going forward over the next several years, where are the major opportunities likely to be? The research positions are going to be more likely in the earlier stage companies where the discovery takes place. Development positions will be available more in the mid to the larger companies. Business development for outlicensing opportunities will be in the smaller companies trying to outlicense their technology to the larger companies. And the in licensing, conversely, would be on the larger companies attempting to in license those compounds. Medical affairs, as well as regulatory affairs and product support will all be with the mid-stage to larger companies that already have compounds and products on the market. Quality will be available in the larger companies as well as with the contract manufacturing operations. And management consulting opportunities will be available in companies that are going through a transition and also the medical insurance providers. So what do you need to do now? First, you need to foster your network of contacts, and for industry positions, you need to build that network outside the area of academia. Sources such as the NIH Alumni Database and LinkedIn can be very helpful here. You want to identify companies that have money and or cash infusions. This is oftentimes a precursor to hiring. You want to identify companies with R&D interests that are in your area of expertise. FDA.gov, which looks at the compounds in clinical testing, can help you in this area. Identify key contacts within the companies, both as references and for sources of information on those particular companies. And then prepare your industry resume. For you here at the NIH, there are a series of resources that you may have. The OITE Career Center is a great resource. You can schedule an individual appointment to get career counseling in this area. I encourage you to visit the OITE YouTube channel to watch the remaining industry videos. And I wish you much success in your industry interview process.